Well, there's one thing you notice on our homestead is we have lots of water tanks uh, for rain catchment and for storing water because there's just so many reasons why this could come in handy. Uh, right now, we've had a good amount of rain and most of these are pretty close to full. And so we're in the fall months and that's usually when the latter rains come and the springtime we get the early rains and, and they fill up the tanks. And so uh, usually by the time summer gets here, we have a good amount of water. Now it wasn't always like this and a lot of people have have emailed us and asked us, hey, you know, where do you guys get all your tanks at? You know, is there a place where I can affordably go and find tanks? And the answer is yes, there is a way you can do that. How we got all of our tanks is on Craigslist. Most, I think almost all of our tanks on Craigslist, except for the really super big ones. We have a couple of 1500 gallon tanks and we had to purchase those through a retailer uh, for that large of a capacity. But you see, what's interesting is that tanks like this, this round one and these square ones, these IBC totes, are pretty common. You can find these things on most places on Craigslist. Most cities, most urban areas, most metropolitan areas will have sources where you can get these type of tanks. A lot of them come from factories, like uh, the factory near us is a, a Little Debbie factory, where they produce, they, they bring in lots of honey or different types of sugars to make the different uh, confections that Little Debbie makes to go out to the retail market. And so, when they bring in a, like a bunch of honey for this big tank or a bunch of sugar for these tanks or whatever they're bringing in, once they empty them all out, they don't have really a way to dispose of them. And so, a lot, I mean, they, they can, but it would cost extra money to haul them away. What they do is they offer them to the public and people, entrepreneurial people from the public come in, either get them for free or very low cost. And at that point, they resell them to the public people like me. And so that gives you a couple of opportunities. Number one, it uh, gives you an opportunity to find if you have a, a factory near you to go and inquire of them and see if they'll give these to you either for very cheap or for no cost at all. Uh, the second thing you can do is go online onto Craigslist. And what you want to do is you want to search for uh, water tote, water tank, or IBC tote and search for those search terms inside of uh, Craigslist and chances are you're going to be able to find some of these and I think the cheapest I've ever seen them is about 20 bucks. 20 bucks for one of these totes. Uh, we usually pay, average price around here is usually about 40, 50 bucks, and that's usually what we pay. We got really lucky on these round tanks that you see here. We had some round tanks, and uh, when they brought those in, they contained 100% pure honey. It wasn't none of this, you know, uh, cane syrup or high fructose corn syrup honey. It was real honey. And uh, they were full of it. And when they do, when they empty these things out, they didn't empty them all the way. They would empty them until it started to slow down and they turn it right side up and then toss it aside and into the tank would come the next big barrel and they would op turn that upside down and empty that one. Well, uh, what happened is you had all that honey on the sides of the tank or whatever that didn't empty out. And so they just shut it off and set it aside. Well, there's still, you know, two or three gallons of honey in that thing. And so when we got these tanks, we had the added, added benefit of getting a few gallons of honey in each one. So that was cool. But again, Craigslist is probably the best place you can find these for cheap. Imagine this, 40 bucks for 275 gallons of water storage. That's not bad. If you go to Tractor Supply, I think for a 300-gallon tank, which is only 25 gallons smaller than this one, they're going to make you pay about 300 bucks. 300 bucks. That's like a dollar a gallon, I think, is what it, whatever it is. That's expensive. But for 40, 50 bucks on Craigslist, you can find this tank. Uh, tanks just like it. And what we did is we painted the outside of them to help uh, slow down algae growth that would occur on the inside. And, and not only that, but it also helps it retain heat because when the sun shines on it, uh, that is the south. And so the south can, uh, the south facing sun can hit these uh, tanks and it helps them to warm them up. And water is one of the best um, mass, uh, what's the word? Uh, thermal masses, thermal mass that you can ever have. Water is the best thermal mass. And so it'll hold heat longer than anything else. And so if you can get it south facing to where the sun will heat it up in the winter time, it'll help prevent it from freezing. Now we have had still when the weather gets really cold to go ahead and drain the lines. Uh, these are all hooked up to one another and they go through a ground uh, pipe underneath to our garden. 
And we have other tanks throughout the homestead uh, where we store water in, and they're piped to different things as well. Um, but in the wintertime, when it gets to be really super cold, uh, you do have to drain the lines to make sure that they don't break and burst. And that has happened to us. And you'll notice that a lot of our lines you see, um, they're actually metal now. They're galvanized metal or they're different types of metal that we used and replace the PVC piping with. Um, so that won't happen again. Um, also, these lines are not under pressure. That's something that's important as well. Uh, they're not under pressure at all, and so that, that prevents uh, bursting pipes when it freezes, you know, uh, also when the, winter, when, the, when the temperatures get really cold. But anyway, that's probably the best method of finding tanks like this, going to Craigslist, um, searching for water tote or IBC tote or water tank and, and searching for that. And I, probably you're going to come up with some hits at finding and scoring some of these pretty cheap. Definitely cheaper than if you were to go ahead and buy a 300-gallon water tank at a retail shop like Tractor Supply or other outlet like that. So in conclusion, water storage is extremely important uh, for your homestead, especially if you're an off-grid homestead and you don't have uh, county water or whatever it is near you, municipal water. Uh, you're using only the water you gather or the water you can pump from a well to, you know, for your family's needs or for your garden needs, especially if a drought would ever come to your area. Having that extra water would be extremely important so that you can get your crops to grow and ultimately feed your family. All right, guys, hope this video has helped you. If you like it, share it on Facebook and with your friends on Twitter. We'll see you next time on an American Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American Homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American Homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.